Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. We are now on the final video for the 2018 NBA Playoff Round 1 simulation slash analysis. We are looking at the 7th seed Milwaukee Bucks versus the 2nd seed Boston Celtics. So pretty much we are going to go through the team stats, the player stats, the matchups, and then we are going to round off with the Playoff Series Simulator where I'm going to give you guys my prediction on who I think is going to win this series. I also want your guys' predictions in the comment section below. And just a quick note about why I saved this one for last is because I do feel like the Boston Celtics are going to win this, but it's going to be a beautiful thing, guys, because the Celtics are not going to win this because of their players. Due to all the injuries of the Boston Celtics, I mean, you have all these players out, guys. You have uh, Kyrie Irving is going to be out for the playoffs. Gordon Hayward has not played at all this season. Marcus Smart is going to be out. Um, as of right now, the Milwaukee Bucks, they have the better roster. They have the better players on the court, but it's going to be one due to Brad Stevens and his amazing coaching, guys. Yes, we are going to see a less talented roster who is the second seed win strictly because of coaching. I really do think that Brad Stevens is going to have these guys playing at all-time level. Uh, it's going to be amazing, man. I cannot wait to watch this series. But at the same time, like, the thing about the Bucks is that they underperform. I mean, they're only the seventh seed with that roster. And it's like, why are they? Why is it like that? Well, they don't really have a coach. I mean... You watch this team play. They just got blew out by the Philadelphia 76ers. You look at a team with Giannis and Eric Bledsoe, Chris Mildred, Barry Parker, Malcolm Brock. You're like, yo, man, that's like a top four or five seed in the Eastern Conference, right? Um, they, they're just like not having a coach. They are playing a lot of like playground basketball. There's not really any good sets being ran. Uh, guys are not being used to their optimal usage out there. It's just not a good thing. So I think from a talent standpoint, the Bucks. With all those players out for the Celtics have the better roster. I mean, they're pretty much completely healthy, but the Celtics are still going to win the series. But let's go ahead and check out the team and player stats, uh, how they did in the regular season, all that stuff out there. So team stats on the season, maybe we'll tell a different story, right? So points per game. Um, so none of these teams are top 10 in scoring. The Boston Celtics, okay, no, I'm sorry. The Bucks are actually 15th in the NBA in scoring at 106.5 points per game. That's really nice, you know, middle of the road. Not bad for a seventh seed out there where the Boston Celtics are 20th in the NBA in scoring at 104. I mean, Gordon Hayward's good for 20 points a game. Uh, Marcus Smart can get going sometimes, too. Kyrie Irving, though, that's the thing about this Celtics team that does make me nervous, is that when Kyrie Irving has been out, it seems like at times the Celtics go very stagnant on offense, where it's just like, okay, uh, who's going to score the basketball? It ain't going to be freaking Al Horford. He's not going to give you that many buckets. Jason Tatum was a rookie. Jalen Brown, I mean, it's like, yeah, he can be that type of player, I think. But this team really is going to have to be all about ball movement, and getting everybody involved on offense, and everybody is going to have to play consistently. Uh, fact of the matter, defensively looking at both of these teams, uh, so the bottom of the list is actually the best defensive teams. The Celtics are third in the NBA in defense, guys, at 100.4 points per game. They are giving up. That is fantastic. And definitely, you know, they can somewhat contain Giannis out there. Uh, they're definitely doing themselves some big-time favors. Where the Bucks are once again middle of the road. So, yeah, I mean, the Bucks, they're not the best offense team in the NBA. They're not the worst. They're just literally middle of the road. They gave up 106.8 points per game on offense. Um, they have the length to be a really good defensive team, which is another reason why it's like that team just gets out coached a lot of the time. Um, I'd love to see somebody like, maybe like a David Fisdale or somebody like that go to the Bucks and kind of turn this team around because the talent is there for Milwaukee Bucks. It's just this is not the season for it to be utilized just because they don't have a good coach. So, yeah, let's go in and check out the player stats on the season. So, Giannis, of course, if you ask me, man, that's a, that's a freaking MVP caliber season right there. 27 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, point, uh, five assists out there, 1, 2 steals, about a block a game. Uh, field goal percentage-wise, he is shooting 53%, which is pretty damn solid. Three-point, it's like he's showing the potential right there. Does not shoot a ton of them, which is actually playing to his strength. Not really much of a three-point shooter. Chris Milton, a very consistent 20-point-per-game score. Five rebounds, four assists. Eric Bledsoe. Uh, not the worst point guard in the NBA, not the best point guard. I, I'll definitely say, like, he's definitely one of those middle-of-the-road point guards that is just pretty damn solid. Malcolm Brogdon, the former Rookie of the Year. You got Jabari Parker, who can stay healthy. Um, something can be really like an all-star caliber player in the NBA, so we'll see what type of, you know, series he has against the Boston Celtics. Um, then you got John Henson, who scores a little bit inside, gets some rebounds, gets you a few uh, blocks a game. Tony Snell, 3 and D type of player. Um, yeah, so I, I will say the Milwaukee Bucks, they got pretty they got pretty solid depth out there. Definitely do, especially with Brogdon off the bench, kind of running that second unit. Uh, looking at the Boston Celtics, though, you know, with Kyrie Irving out, you are giving up. That's 24, 25 points for your game. A go-to score, a clutch shooter. So, yeah, it's going to suck him not being on the uh, Celtics lineup. But you look uh, beyond him, and then it's like, which of these guys is going to step, uh, step up? Jalen Brown, about 14, 15 points for game, five rebounds. I got to imagine that uh, Chris Milton will probably be playing defense on him. And, you know, being a shooting guard, Jalen Brown, 6'7", usually has the height on other shooting guards. But uh, Chris Milton is like 6'8", has a long wingspan, so hopefully, you know, he's going to give him some trouble on defense right there. 
Uh, Jason Tatum, though, is a player that... You gotta keep in mind, this dude is just a freaking rookie, man. Like, this dude is just a rookie. 14 points, 5 rebounds. I really do think he's gonna have a pretty solid series, though. Although... He is going to have the job of containing Giannis. Is he going to be able to do that? I mean, that's a lot to be asked of the young blood right there. You got uh, Marcus Morris, pretty decent score. Can have the games every once in, a, once in a while where he drops 20, 30 points. Um, at least he did when he played for my Pistons. I don't know how we've been on the Boston Celtics. And then Al Horford is going to have to be the, have to be the uh, really the anchor of this team on defense. And just the vocal leader on offense. He's like He is one of their best pass passers on the team. He's going to have to make sure the sets are all ran correctly. Uh, Terry Rozier, though. This is a player that I expect to have a really big time series. I really do think Terry Rozier has the potential to be a starting point guard in the NBA. And, uh, you know, keep in mind, guys, he's only 24 and he's going he's to have the mindset where, okay, all eyes on me. If he plays really nicely in this series, win or lose, uh, he's going to see himself getting a nice little contract from either the Boston Celtics or a different NBA team. Greg Monroe is a guy that can score on the inside, uh, make the mid-range shot, get you some rebounds out there. He'll be pretty solid. So, yeah, it's going to come down to uh, which of these Celtic players are going to step up scoring-wise. Don't get me wrong, man. If the Bucks just somehow find a coaching solution, like the coach decides... Well, I don't know who the coach is right now, man. Let me check this out real quick because I keep on roasting the dude, but I don't actually know who it is. So, uh, where's it at, man? We got, yeah, front office, I think. Staff. It is uh, Joe Pruti. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's not great, man. You look at that freaking comb over. I'm just going to say that real quick, bro uh you're not gonna be around next season Fisdale is right there it's, it's so disappointing how many like coaches are not coaching right now and freaking joe prunty gets a freaking job all right here we go guys we are going to the playoff series simulator my prediction for this series is i have due to i, I think there's gonna be games where the celtics go stagnant and the bucks are just gonna go off i don't see it going to seven games it's not a seven game series but it's not quite going to be like a sweep either. I'm going to say four games to two Boston Celtics over the Milwaukee Bucks. And that's only because of coaching pretty much. Uh, let's go ahead though. Simulate with SimCast the first game of the series. Maybe 2K will tell a different story. Uh, it's going to be telling me that players are back. But they're not actually going to play. So we're going to leave rotation as is. Simulate game. And get it going right here. Um, so yeah. According to 2K man. Milwaukee Bucks are the freaking dream team right here. Winning 121 to 95 in that first game. Al Horford, 20 points, 16 for a zero, double-double for Greg Monroe. But overall, nobody absolutely took over the game. Uh, Giannis, 28, 14, and 7, two steals and two blocks. And you really got to think Giannis' mindset is that he is the best player in the series, that it's his time to shine or, you know, take a seat to whoever, you know, Ben Simmons or somebody like that. 21 for Jabari Parker, great game for him. 19 for Brogdon with seven assists. Chris Milton dropping the 17. Zeller, nice off the bench. Eric Bledsoe didn't do all that much, but he doesn't always have to because of Brogdon's play. Next up, we do have game two. Simulate with SimCast. We might just be a sweet man. Oh, uh, yeah. Leave rotation as is. You ain't gonna play, Marcus. Sorry, man. You're not playing the series. You might, he might play later. I'm not really sure. All right. So, game two. We have going towards the Boston Celtics in a close one. 108 to 105 after a 35-point fourth quarter from the Boston Celtics. Uh, Al Horford had himself one hell of a game. 26 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 16 and 8 for Jason Tatum. A very nice double-double for Rozier with the 12th assist out there. And then we got from the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, Giannis, a great game once again, man. Oh, my God. 30 points, 17 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals, and 4 blocks. I would be so disappointed if I put up that type of stat line and my team did not want to be like, yo, man, who's going to help me out? Uh, Bledsoe, 8 and 6 out there. Completely be playing a little bit better, I'd say. All right, next up, we got a tied series, uh, one game apiece. Similar with SimCast for the tiebreaker. See who gets it. We're in Milwaukee's court now. And looking like a close game yet again. But Milwaukee Bucks look like they are pulling away, guys. Winning 117 to 106 after a great second half where they dropped 32 and 34 in the third and fourth quarter. Uh, close out game, Terry Rose, zero. Nice double, double, 20, 10, and four steals. 15 and six for Jalen. 15, eight, and four for Greg Monroe. Um, and then we got over here on the Bucks, Brogdon, one hell of a game, 27 and five, 16, six, and 10 for Giannis, and 15 and 15 for Chris Milton and John Henson out there, Jabari Parker. I mean, that's actually a really nice stat line. The scoring wasn't always there. It's not always about scoring, right? I mean, eight rebounds, six assists, one steal. They'll definitely take that. Plus, I also think Jabari comes off the bench right now. I don't know if that'll be in the playoffs, though. Um, okay, so here we go. Simulate with SimCast. We got game four. Bucks up two games to one. Simulate game. And see if they take the uh, commanding 3-1 lead or if the Boston Celtics can bounce back. They do not. The Milwaukee Bucks win 106-90. Uh, we got Marcus Morris at 19 and 9, 18 for Jalen Brown, 16, I'm sorry, 18 for Jason Tatum and 16 for Jalen Brown. And then a near triple-double sort of for Al Horford. Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis once again, man, just being the superstar of the series, 35, 10 and 3, 15 for Jabari. Here is the rest of the stats for you guys to see. And all of a sudden, 
the Milwaukee Bucks are up three games to one in this series. Simulate with Simcast, see if they can close it out with the Boston Celtics can bounce back. And looking like the Boston Celtics are not playing around this. Oh, damn, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> yo, the Celtics were not playing around. But the Milwaukee Bucks was like, yo, man, hold up a little bit. We're going to turn up the defense in the second half. They just won the series four games to one, which I got to say, I feel so bad for Boston Celtic fans. I mean, the injuries you guys have had to go through, like, I'm going to say Celtics fans, we all know this playoff is, is you know, the playoffs are not going to work out as planned. I mean, you lost your star players, but you also got to keep in mind just how young your team really is. And sure, this wasn't your season, but the chances of all those players getting injured again next season are very, very low. So, you know, keep your guys' heads up. Um, Milwaukee Bucks, um, you know, this is really a time for you guys to move on to the second round of the playoffs. Uh, you have a superstar in Giannis. I think it's time for him to st uh, step up to the plate. Anyway, my friends, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Enjoy the 2018 NBA playoffs round one. We will continue this series for the second round of the playoffs.